Kia ora, ko Stephanie Tuku Ingoa Haere Mai. Welcome to Adaptive Go. Today we're back at Ōakuni and we thought we'd do a little bit of work showing you how footwork practiced in the backyard can help improve your loose lead walking. Working on close has been a really useful command for me with loose lead walking, so I'll show you how I built that. Up, Ramon. Pause up. Start with it. <laughs> I've been training him to jump paws up onto my legs, so that's why he did that. He got a bit confused. Okay, paws up. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. So you train paws up onto a circular tin, if, if your dog's a bit bigger, obviously a bit bigger. And then you build him up to turning in a counterclockwise direction like that. Yes. Yes. Then when he's got that, you add the command. Close until he comes round. Stay. Ramon. Come. Good boy. Sit. Wait. Pause up. Good boy. Close. Good boy. Nice job. And so that's how you build the progression through to close. Play. Okay. Back, back step. Big back step. Good boy, yes. Back back is a really useful training um, exercise for positioning him when you're loosely walking and getting in and around objects. So I'll show you the progression to this. So the other type of back back that I use is when he's walking alongside me and moving backwards. So we'll get him into position. Ramon, close. Good boy. Good boy. It's easier to train this if you're um, uh, walking alongside a house or a building so that he can he, he doesn't get so lost in space. Back, back. Good boy. So that's getting him to move backwards with you. Get. Boy, give. Good boy, nice job. So I've been working with Ramon on a different sort of pause up, which um, so that I can put his lead on, pause up. And then off. Good boy. So I use back back um, quite a lot when Ramon has moved forward beyond where I want him to be and he's pulling on the lead. Um, so I'll see if I can show you how that looks. Let's go. Good boy. So when he's in front of me and I want him to come back, I use the words back, back. And he usually comes back into this close position. So another skill that I use when um, on lead walking is I encourage him to look at me and look up at me. So we use the word look and he'll look at me um, quite a lot. Look, good boy. And whenever he looks at me, I will reward him, especially if that's a behaviour that I'm really focusing on during the training session, even if I haven't asked for it. Um, and when I ask for it, I am um, rewarded as well. So it's a way of um, just helping him pay attention to you while you're walking. Ready? Let's go. Good boy. Look. Good boy. Good boy. This way, look. No. person with a disability who's training my dog to be a service dog. I work with a trainer and we have an agency that sits behind us as well. With Ramon, back, back. Back, back. Good boy. Let's go. With Ramon, I have him walking a little bit in front of me on a loose lead. Um, I don't train Ramon to walk here in a close um, because 
Part of my disability is that I have a balance problem and when Ramon's a little bit in front of me, he provides me with an additional sight line to help me manage and cope with walking and the undulations and things like that. So I like him a little bit out in front, but not too out in front that he's pulling on the lead. So to get him to come back into position, I just stop walking and he's learned to drop back and sit down and then when he's sitting nicely, he go again. Let's go. Check out the upcycling. I think it's pretty good use of an old microwave. <laughs> so those are my tips that I use when to improve leap walking. They've really helped me quite a lot. Um, hopefully they'll help you too. But as you know, I think a lot of it's just persistence and keeping on going. Ramon um, has always been a little bit distracted when he's walking and he's just getting so much better all the time and really responsive to me on lead, which is exactly what you want, him focused on you. So I hope this has been helpful um, and remember to subscribe and watch Ramones in my journey as we both learn um, how to build his foundation tasks and training and work him towards becoming a disability assistance dog over time. So subscribe, ka kite, I'll see you next time. Bye. This one's got the Star Wars robot theme going on. <laughs> <laughs>